Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Mech Builder, a relaxing puzzle game that's inspired by model kits. Uh, more specifically, plastic model kits. So this is the third demo. And again, this is a demo. So anything you see, not necessarily representative of the final product. But let's let's make some, some models. Press Q to drag. This is put that together snap it to place oh when you hear that click that's what you want so this is kind of teaching us how to play press w to cut okay oh man i love my model kits i have a lot of gundam gunplas and whatnot come over here uh so that's where you see what the character looks like you gonna clip off these little sprues some people like cutting it here and then using a, a knife to cut this off i i just like i just go as close as i can now granted i'm not painting these up and i'm not um sanding them down because i don't really need it i think most of the kits that i have look really good without all that stuff you can prime them you can repaint them but i don't deal with that nonsense um, I have outlined a few of them using Gundam liner but yeah so let's let's get it so we're building some arms bam there's our arms build the head I always like to go like head body left arm right arm so this is obviously the legs right those are thighs if ever I've seen them. And then this is a neck joint. Chest. Two, three, four. Bam, look at that. Complete. Decals. Oh, we can add some decals. This is another thing I have not done. Um, is decals. I've only put a few on like the water based decals that you get but other than that I haven't really bothered to do it because I know it makes it look like way better but they're so small and fiddly and we'll see it in here so far this game is really it's got everything correct <laughs> um the little stuff that's flying off, the little particle of flying off that hits you in the face sometimes if you cut it at a wrong angle. The only thing it doesn't have is we're not cleaning up these sprues. We're not like throwing them in the bin when you have like a stack that's like 50 big. Whoever make like a perfect grade. I like the puzzle aspect. So what I'm going to do is try and try and f build this without messing around it too much without seeing what it looks like is there a, is there a joint this these are shoulders okay these are shoulders arms this is legs we go because this is a, this is a strong boy would go ah, on the helmet so where are the stickers right we need to look at the stickers here so we have 
Okay, this one here goes up here. Very nice. This one goes up here. Perfect. This one goes on the right shoulder. Slightly inside. Here we go. Left leg. Down a little bit. I guess you would there we go oh look at that beautiful very nice is this weathering paint optional we can we can paint our stuff uh, so it does it does paint them is optional but this guy looks like a big kaiju so we'll, we'll actually have a look at what he looks like oh no we won't <laughs> I'll do that so painting is cool uh, again I've never painted any of mine it's like an absolute ball lake do but again some people really like it some people make amazing dioramas they're really cool like the effects that they use to create explosions and other things i really like how this is going together like you gotta set up the areas otherwise you'll get a little bit kind of weird looking all your pieces won't be together okay, so we can come and have a look at that guy now can we paint these after we combine them so any way to color pick If we like was to paint it, oh we can. Okay, cool. Okay. Now we've kind of Okay. I think that's that's the correct one. Kinda of like a Godzilla, right? He's a very big god. Might have to... We might have to paint him. <laughs> there we go. this good back foot so we look at kind of go and put here yeah. wonder if we can paint the um the stickers it does have a place for them some places haven't
He is done. But can we paint him? We're making a Godzilla. Godzilla, like a dark grey. It's like a bluey. Now we do have to have like dark and light part parts, is otherwise it look as good. We can't change the uh, color. You to be dark. There we go. It's more of a like uh, the new Godzilla. <laughs> Manual. Right. Okay. So the harder something gets. This is how I normally go about doing mine, alphabetical, uh, when, when I'm setting up the sprues. E. G. And we can kind of be see with this because we need our space in the middle. With our manual, actually, we probably need everything. And then I wonder if it's kind of got to tell us how to color it. Because this is a very gray boy. A lot of the ones I make are, are pre-colored. They're all like plastic injected mold. I have a couple of purple, uh, perfect grades. Ooh. Have a red astray, right? He is very expensive. I bought him in Japan, but very fun to build. Took a long time as well, multiple hours. Some people like to work on one thing, like, oh, we're gonna work on the head today, so I'm gonna clip out all the head pieces. I just do it by what the instructions say. That way it kind of stops me cutting out a bunch of stuff and forgetting what the pieces do. Basically the opposite of what I'm doing right now. Cool. Okay, so the manual. Is there a way to make this small? Okay, so the manual A, this, this makes a... Little helmet. C, B, and D. B, C, and D. Okay. Making a upside down. See a bit. shoes legs I would say are probably done yeah legs are done arms look like that interesting to know what that is it's kind of like a oh it might be that it's the pelvis yeah it's the pelvis have the neck though. So we can work backwards from the arms. Um, probably. Just the manual. Have this 
into this this guy over here We can do this. Answer is very, very made the body, but we didn't put on breastplate, the neck guard, I guess. We got some bits left over. Yeah, hand bits. These must. Part of the fingers. They're not. Ah, part of the waist. The shoe. Yeah, let's get our um stuff out. the exhaust vents I would kind of hope they were I mean we can actually change the colors Ooh. we can also paint it oh so it gives us the paint cool This is actually like really chill. Okay, so that's number one. Or we can like give paint it the third version, the third variant. I don't really like the the uh, the boob armor there. EBH. What I do like is kind of white and red. That's a cool. That's a cool look right there. Oh, and we got Exodia. Drag the groups of runners to the left side of the edge to create more space. Oh, okay, yes. And got an Exodia here. But they don't completely go off the edge, which is good. Them all. I think we'll follow the instructions by the way of. building stuff look at our manual it wants us to pick stuff from a okay, what do we want we want this piece yes a b c d e
but this is like a middle section. We've got some pieces up here. B. These are small pieces, so I'm going to assume we use all of B um, up here. C. Now see, this kind of reminds me of an Exodia, which recently came out. In fact, it's to the left of me. Okay, so this is obviously going on there. Yep. Snap into there. Let's snap into there. To the neck? No. Yeah. Well, D. Get some D out. So there, there's the midsection. goes there. That's the chest piece. Okay, so that goes oh right here. Yeah, gotcha. But that was part of the the um abs, I guess you'd call it. We don't actually oh, these are these go down here but we can't build them yet. Um, e some normal stuff. Bronzes and greys. It obviously goes there. That's little shoulder pads. And then F. This is probably where everything comes together. Maybe. Who knows? There we go. So, put that there, and then these go on there. Beautiful. Okay. G, H, I. And normally these would be like G, one, two, three. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you'd have to cut them all out. But, obviously this game is kind of simplifying things, because it's not taking you 100% of the time to do it. He's off to the side. It's K. We gotta remember that. Those are the different arms. Punch something with it. Obliterate. Obelisk, the Tormentor. It's Exodia, the Forbidden One. Actually, neither of those. It's, it's a unique version. This hand. I want something. A H-I. That looks like a hand. Positioning. And J. I was going to say J looks like a big one, but no, it's not. Just uh, nice and easy. So if we look at this, try and get size. So that's looking like that's there. Have to fill this out, I reckon. And okay, there we go. That's there. Then where did I put looks similar, right? First off, finding this. There's one there. There's the other one. So that allows us to do that. Oh, here it is. One. 
tree, cleaning up stuff. Something there, maybe? Wait, is there a little cap? And these things look like they're spiky enough. Yeah. Something needs to connect to this. B. Reverse engineer. Where's fist? Okay, the fist is technically like three parts. Like, that's one part. That's two parts. And... This but reversed. No. <laughs> Did we get everything G H I? Smaller bits. This one's actually a puzzle. Kind of cool. That goes there. Means it's a two-parter. E H I. A. L N O. Where did where did things go? That goes there. Start building it up on this side. Might be able to see where certain stuff goes. Like this curvature. There. Fist and fist. That does not go there then. Beginning to believe. That's a that's a tricky one. Okay, so it's not it's not one to one. the music I kind of wish maybe um, a little bit longer tracks maybe different tracks some chill music would be nice you know what would be cool if you could add some weather effects or something 
know, like a, it's, it's a cold day. I can see those go there. It's a cold day. People are stay inside, build some models. That's a molded piece. We don't have to paint that later. Really good. The buff legs. Pose. have some stickers basically just some chevrons on his crutch and he can be painted I mean he kind of is painted but I think they they want you to paint differently like a kind of black and red I don't like the black and but thank you guys for watching. That was the demo for Model Builder. Uh, you, we've unlocked the kit batch, which you can, and you can add it here and go to the model selection. Uh, we can go to the main menu, look at kit bash. Kit bash um, model and pieces don't snap automatically, but you have access to kit bash bar. Kit bash bar. You can kind of assemble them, group them to create stuff. But look how many models they gotta be really cool but if we were to do we could like you know they don't move together they don't snap together and they're all black and white so if you select this and you wanted to group confirm that snaps it together and I'm gonna group them So is there like a precision? The rotate and the duplicate is cool. And to front delete. You could bring them in. Actually, you know what? Might as well add this one. And whoops, I deleted it. Deleted her. Add. I know we're slightly lot too long. Deleted the wrong one. Whatever. And then we're gonna group the arms together. Group the legs. So now we have a leg, right? And then let's say we delete all this. And we add this lady. This lady is. Oh no. Oh no, it's getting it's getting thingy. Uh 
anyway, that's the that's the kit bash version. You can kind of add a bunch of stuff. I'm very excited to play this. I think this is a chill game. You just sit down and play. It's you know, relaxing. If you like Gundams or Gunpla model kits, plastic model kits, I think you really like this game. If you don't, check it out. You might actually like the hobby. Uh, be warned, the hobby is expensive. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.